I, I have a, a scanner. I've had one for years. And, yeah, you can pick up cell phones and cordless phones. And uh, the conversations I've heard over the years, hysterical. I heard I was out in the Hamptons once listening to phone calls. And uh, yeah, a couple of uh, you know, uh, gay guys <laughs> talking on the phone, you know, as they were. Uh, gay guys. <laughs> so they were talking about um, this thing. Really? Yeah. It was hysterical. So I was like, listen to this guy going, you know, I'll bury it up to the elbow. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Heard of uh, breakups, drug deals, and affairs. It is great entertainment. You'd have to sift through all the crap, you know. Be home in an hour, honey. Oh, uh, great. Good call. Tell about the, the call we heard that one night. Oh, uh, what? Up in the uh, apartment? Yeah. <laughs> We're all hanging out, drinking at Anthony's place. Checking out up the scanner. in Boston, yeah. Uh, checking out the scanner, you know, and uh, got a, a nice strong signal. Heard some uh, girl talking on the phone. And she's talking to some uh, guy about how her boyfriend uh, sucks and how she kind of wants to get together with this guy and blah, blah, blah. So at one point, uh, we're, we're listening to the uh, scanner, but we're also joking around and laughing. And at one point, I guess uh, we were laughing and, and I, I, I slammed the floor with my foot. Stomped on the floor. You know how you do that? So hard, right? A real knee slapper type thing. So all of a sudden, the girl on the phone that we're listening to on the scanner goes, Oh, people upstairs again, banging. <laughs> like, holy jeez, it's, it's the person downstairs. <laughs> and then she starts going, uh, Oh, it's not the first time. They walk around up there like elephants. I think they must weigh 500 pounds. <laughs> And then she starts saying, <laughs> I love, now, uh, this is uh, me, Jen, Opie, and his girlfriend, Sandy, right, sitting there. I think there was another couple there, too, making yeah. it more embarrassing. And, okay. and, yeah, and we hadn't been uh, on the air long together, so it's not like we had a friendship, a really a good friendship. You we, know what we I mean? We're still getting to know each yeah, other. Yeah, still getting to know each other. This goes way back. Go ahead. So uh, then she's like, and their bedroom is right over mine. So all I'm hearing uh, 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 at night is, ah, 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 boom, 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 the bed, ah, ah, ah. I just heard beat red. I'm looking. I hope he's laughing his ass off. <laughs> all night long. Ah, 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 ah. It's disgusting. Right. I'm like, oh, well, maybe it's not downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> but it was downstairs. It was because then we started effing with her. Because then we decided to play interactive uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, phone call. It was, uh, I believe it was Halloween night. Right. So um, she was kind of scared to be alone. Mm -hmm. She was talking to this guy. Well, and I mean, your apartment complex, uh, pretty much everyone was scared to oh be alone. Oh, my Halloween God. Night. Well, when you look outside and you see somebody just bagged a zebra and were dragging <laughs> it back into their uh, <laughs> lean-to... I was in a bad neighborhood, man. When it would rain, I swear to you. When it rained? When it rained, oh, it was it. the highlight of the day for the six billion little children that lived there because they could play in the pothole puddles. <laughs> it was like a little pool for them. I was just waiting for one of them to go to the shores of one of the puddles and have a croc come and grab them, <laughs> drag them in. I swear, this neighborhood, there, was, there were people... It was an apartment apartment building. Right. Outside of the little porch of your apartment, someone had fenced off a whole area, <laughs> planted grass, and was raising chickens. I swear to you. It was the community property. Yeah, it was yeah. like you took up a, a three people's backyards because no one had a yard. You had a, a cement patio with a wrought iron fence around it. That's your yard. This guy decides, you know, hey, I'm going to make a bank. <laughs> I'm going to make a bank and raise a chicken just like I did back in uh, Bedarillo. <laughs> and, and they would fence off the area. A beautiful lawn. I mean, he had it well kept. So, Raising chickens. So freaking funny. Frightening neighborhood. The second I moved in, like, what floor do you want to stay? What's the top one? <laughs> I want the high ground. Love the high ground. <laughs> Every night, the police were there. There was something going on, some domestic dispute going on. Someone's head was going through a wall. Uh, it was wonderful. So we're listening to the lady downstairs on the yeah. scanner. So she's kind of scared, and she's talking to this guy. So we decide to go out onto uh, the porch, which is right above her porch, three high, and throw things at her sliding glass door from our porch. 
So we're taking little pieces of candy and stuff and leaning over and winging it. So we'd hear it hit the door and hear her go, oh my God, what was that? <laughs> it was just so much fun because we're listening to the conversation and controlling what she's saying. <laughs> then we decided we were going to ring her buzzer and run. So it was down on the first floor. I'm on the third floor. So Opie goes downstairs to the buzzer. And uh, for, after coaxing him for a half hour, come on, you got to do it. You got to do it. Buzzes it. I hear him start running up the stairs. You can hear it on the phone. On the phone. Yeah. And then I just hear this horrible, <laughs> he tripped going up the stairs, some getaway. Because she was on the second floor, so we had to run past her floor to get back upstairs before she opened the door. Because we were paranoid, convinced that if she opened up her door and I'm just casually walking like I'm there visiting you, that she was going to bust us. Yeah. You know? And it turns out, the whole end to this whole thing is we got... The guy late. Yeah. Because uh, she got so scared at what was going on, she said, you better come over here. And he's like, oh, really? Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm very scared. Well, it's important to the story. The guy uh, uh, talking to this lady was trying to pick her up the whole time. Yeah. And she's like, no, nah, no, nah, you know, kind of give him the, him the brush off. My we got her driving by. We got her so freaked out by the end of the conversation. Yeah, she invited him over. Invited him over. Night. Scanners are fun, though, man. I used to have a blast with those things. <laughs> That's a great story. Forgot all about that.